Hey, hey friends, it's Chef Wenena here. I hope you're doing well. Today I'm sharing this very easy to make chocolate chip banana cake, a recipe that I borrowed from my son Hudson. So for this cake recipe, I have some very ripe bananas here, some chocolate chip, some eggs, baking powder, vanilla, I got some flour back here, a touch of salt, I got some baking soda to give the cake some lift, olive oil, and definitely sugar. So first things first, to peel these three bananas. And then using a potato masher, just mash them. That looks good to me. Into this bowl, cracking three eggs. Hudson enjoys baking and he made this cake the other day and I really loved it when he sent me the pictures. So three eggs, one cup sugar. Then using a hand mixer, I'm going to blend all this together. Now into the bowl, some vanilla. And continue blending. Awesome. Now, wet ingredients part all done. I will set this aside. Now into this bowl, I will measure two and a half cups all-purpose flour. This will go through a sifter. Then about a half baking powder, about a teaspoon and a half baking soda, about a teaspoon. Sift all this into the bowl. Get all the lumps. And then about a half a teaspoon of kosher salt. This will not go through the sifter. Now into this tiny bowl, I'll open the chocolate chip, about a half a cup also of this dark chocolate, 60% cocoa. I'll get about a tablespoon of our sifted flour. This will help them not to sink at the bottom of the cake, hopefully. Now set this aside, set this aside, bring back the wet ingredients. Now for the last part, I'll add about a half a cup of olive oil. You can use regular vegetable oil, or you can just definitely use butter. So it's just so slowly. For this cake, I'm using this square cake pan. Coat it with some butter. Get to the corners. You can actually use a loaf pan too for this recipe. Actually, that's what Hudson used, but I opted to use this. Bring back the wet ingredients and combine with the dry. So a little bit of this. Just about a half of it first, and then bring it all together. The key here is not to overdo this because you don't want to develop gluten. I'll shift it to a spatula. Just do the folding process or motion. Just fold in the flour into the cake. So now just before we finish this cake, add the chocolate chip. Just fold them in, just so slowly just so carefully. The idea is to have all the chips suspended throughout the cake, not sinking at the bottom or just it being in one spot. And then 
this butter into the cake pan. Bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 40 to 45 minutes or when a toothpick or a knife is inserted in the middle of the cake comes out clear and clean. Chocolate chip actually is my own addition. Hudson just used the bananas. Uh, you can use ripe bananas or you can just enhance the cake a little bit and then have it as a chocolate chip banana cake which is delicious. Tap it to remove any air bubbles. Into the oven it goes. This cake was in the oven for about 42 minutes or so. Just test it. So the knife comes out clean, so it's all done. Leave it for about 10 minutes just to slightly cool down. So this cake is all cooled down. A good time to cut into it and enjoy the labor of our baking. Looks so beautiful. Has that slight crack at the top. Hats on. Look at that, I got it. Get in here and get a piece of this cake. Mm. Look at that beauty right there. Cut into this. Mm. So friends, there you have it. Our chocolate banana cake. A recipe that you can do on any day of the week. Uh, thank you so much, Hudson, for sharing this recipe with me. I hope you, my fans, will enjoy this too on any day of the week. I encourage you to share your recipes with your friends and family. It's a very good way of togetherness. Thank you so much for watching this one. Hope to see you in the next one. Enjoy your week. Mm. It's so delicious. Mm. Give me a thumbs up.